What's up, folks? This is Jeff doing Strong List 5x5. I'm going to be doing Workout A in this video. The date is April 28th. It's a Tuesday night, actually. I went after work for this one. This is day 23, the eighth week of the 12-week program. I'm like three quarters or two thirds that um, of the way in, you know. Um, in this video, at least, I'm doing actually doing the voiceover on uh, May 7th, so I'm really late with the commentary and all doing all the uh, doing all the the video voiceover stuff that I want to do with these with this log. Um, it's early in the morning. I'm actually in the office and trying to get this done before everybody shows up. But I see people trickling in as I'm looking out the window. Okay, so let's go on with the video. My voice might be kind of deep because it's the first time I'm talking today. I just walked in and decided, you know what, I better do the voiceovers now before I. So I'm so behind. I mean, it's like almost two weeks now since I've posted anything. Um, after I finish this commentary, I'm going to post up the day 22. I've got that ready. I'll post that up at my next meeting. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the editing for this one as well. So let's go on with the video. I'm going to do... Um, I didn't write anything down. You know, I don't have any particular thing that I wanted to say. So as I go through the video, I'll just do the commentary. All right, so here we go. Um, this is the warm up. It's the typical warm up. I've been keeping my warm up pretty consistent for the past few weeks. Uh, I do uh, one or two sets of five uh, without any weight on the bar. So that's 45. And then I do one or two sets of 95. You know, and then after that, I do um, one set of three for 135, 185, and then two, 205. So I've kept that pretty consistent. In between, I have a lacrosse ball on me and doing stretches. And this particular day, I was still pretty sore from the sports masseuse. And I don't know if it's just her fault. I just, you know, since I've been trying to change up my squat and, and trying to get everything balanced out, I noticed that, I mean, not I noticed, but my left quad has been hurting a lot. So it was, it was kind of a hard day, you know? It was 260 pounds on the squat, which is really heavy. And... I think I'm, you know, at that level of weight, I've got to change up how the warm up is. You know, it, it's like when when watching the strong lift videos from Medi, you know, you kind of you kind of got to have a gradual progression with the warm up in order to get used to the idea of when you get to the real working set. From from doing a 205 to a 260, that's a pretty drastic change. And I think as I go along with these, I've got to, you know, the warm ups just got to get higher and higher. It, it's kind of like when um. I think powerlifters do progressive sets, right? They they increase everything by maybe like 20 pounds, maybe 20, 20, 30 pounds, you know, before they, and they do like one or two reps. I hope I'm making sense. This is the stuff that I, that I see on YouTube at least. I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional or anything. I just watch what I see on YouTube. But that's how I learn how to do this stuff. Um, plus I pick up stuff from what my friends say, and, you know, when they look at my, um, they, they look at my form and stuff. You'll see this guy who's walking around, hovering around me, watching all my stuff. I think he just likes being on camera whenever I'm around. That's I think that's what he does. For this day, shit, it was it was heavy as hell. I have never done 260. I, I don't think I, I ever have, honestly. I've I don't, like I'm trying to remember a time when and I, I should look in my log, I should look in my photocracy app, I should look in my JFit app. I use I used to use those like religiously, but photocracy just it doesn't it I wish it worked. You know, I, I really do because it's got it's got a nice platform, but um, it only works half the time. Like loading, loading anything, or, or just just trying to get an exercise in the database. It, not all of it is there for some reason. But you know that was when I was doing bro splits. I'm sure if I if I tracked strong lifts on photography, it would be fine. But you know after a while, I just got fed up with it because it kept timing out on me. And I'm using an Android, so if you're watching this, that's my my, my review is. I mean I, I like it, but if it worked most of the time, then it would have been all right. Anyway, JFit faster it works offline it doesn't have an online dependency oh yeah what am i talking about <laughs> yeah if i logged that stuff then it would have been fine but um i don't think i've ever done 260 before except for this day you know so i'm trying to go slow you know that's why these sessions are longer now like I, i've been trying to get these videos under 10 minutes but i can't just plow through these, squ these squats anymore they take a lot of concentration they take a lot of breathing they take a lot of um now, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I do a lot of breathing, you know, and that's when you kind of calm your, your central nervous system and just try to get into control and focus and stuff. Um, but yeah, it takes a lot of concentration just to get through these, these squats now because it's, it's really tough. 
Um, you know, I can only imagine what ha- what will happen when I finally hit 315. And I think it is going to go beyond the 12 week program because I have a feeling that you know there's going to be a few deloads that are coming up because just getting used to this weight is rough. You know, and you see my my buddy over here watching me doing these um, doing the squats. What he's really doing is he's watching me and listening for the cues for my knees to pop because now they're both popping. Um, and I haven't found an efficient way to really stop that. You know, um, there are certain cues that I'm following <coughs> to, to, to do, to really stop it. But, um, like, like following the bar, making sure the bar path is straight. That's kind of helped tracking my knees out, doing that old bell shaped thing that I used to talk about. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm pushing my knees out, squeezing my hamstrings in and then pushing my hips out all in one motion so that it all, it, it's all kind of fluid and, and, and and it kind of like a kind of like you know how when you do a deadlift, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening, but you do it all at once. It's kind of like that. Um, that's kind of helped a little bit, and and it's weird because keeping that consistency with with those types of movements has been pretty hard for me, especially at the heavy portion of the squat. You know, I, I tried doing it at the, at the end of the day, and and despite being able to have like cereal and a whole bunch of carbs throughout the day, just to have it running through the system, it it. It didn't affect me so much for this particular lift, and, you know, at two sixty because it was it was it was hard. Um, I remember, I remember leaving. Um, I mean, finishing the last set, thinking, man, you know what? I, I think that's that's pretty much going to be the workout for the day. I, I wanted to finish. I wanted to be done. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do the uh, the push ups. I didn't want to do. I mean, not the push ups. I didn't want to do the bench press, and I didn't want to do the ten lays after that. But you gotta get through it, right? That's part of the program. It's gonna be hard. Things are gonna get hard, and you just you just gotta keep going. So let's talk about some other stuff. <laughs> if you looked at my pocket, I had this orange dongle that was hanging out. Um, I borrowed my roommate's uh, Bluetooth wireless piece. Um, my wireless headset, the left side doesn't work anymore, so I started using that. It is actually it's, this actually was kind of a bad day. I mean, as you can see now, the camera angle, the camera focus has changed. It's no longer the fisheye lens that it was. Everything was turning off. The, the Bluetooth dongle died within like the first two sets of, of, of the squats. My camera died because I forgot to charge it. And the thing is with the SJ4000, um, I'm not doing any advertising, so don't think that I am. I'm just saying the SJ4000 does not hold its charge. It's kind of bad. Um, I don't really like the idea that I have to charge this thing, you know, um, one and a half, or not even, like, every 1.5 sessions. It's, it kind of sucks. You know, I understand why you have to buy battery packs, but I would just wish that the battery would last a little bit longer. Especially when the screen turns off, you'd think that it would last a, a little bit longer, but I'm not sure what the capacity is for the for the battery or, or whatever. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of frustrating. Now, every time before a session, I do charge it just to make sure that I can have the entire session recorded. Yeah, so bench press 175. This was affecting me because it was heavy and um, it, was, it was interesting because how much of my energy and my strength transferred over from the squat, the heavy ass squat, to the bench. When, when I was doing this, my bicep was hurting and I think it's because of the bad placement that I've been doing with the squat. So. You know, in order to handle the weight and, and, and just trying not to have the, uh, the knees pop or anything, I've been trying to have the bar held in certain ways so none of that stuff happens. And it's been kind of difficult. It's, it's a little different. I'm trying to change everything up, but I, I'm still getting used to that whole hand motion and all that stuff. So um, I don't know. And it transferred over to the bench press, which is kind of annoying because why would my biceps hurt if I'm doing bench press? I don't know. But... Uh, I know that you're allowed to do it, get engaged when you're doing the bench. Um, <clears throat> and I guess that's part of the back. It all kind of relates. It's all compound movements, right? So maybe I should just keep that in mind when I'm doing this. But other than that, the, the bench was fine. You know, 175, I'm getting there. I think once I hit 185, it is going to start getting difficult. I remember back during bro, bro splits, um, 185 was always my stopping point. And I, it was it was so hard breaking that, that 205 barrier and just hitting 225. I think the last time I hit 225, I did it for four. And that was months ago. You know, that was a while back. All right, 10 lay rows. I have no complaints here. <laughs> I just did it. I know at that point when I was going to the, to the first set of 10 lays, 
I felt like I was done just the same way as I felt like I was with the squats. But you know what? I just said, whatever, dude. Now, I think 165 was the last weight that I hit when I was doing um, barbell bent over rows, you know? Um, but with pen lays, it's nice because you, you all the power that you need is on the initial raise, which is good because you just, you know, um, it, it makes it easier, you know? Uh, but it also, you also, I don't know, for some reason I feel it more when I'm doing this. There is more constant tension in a bent over row, but for the pen lay, a lot of the explosive power, I guess, is, is, in, is in the initial raise, you know? And I try to have some of the tension as I go down so I don't slam the weight as much. But um, yeah, I like them, you know? And, and it, it looks cooler because you're carrying more weight. <laughs> I'm trying not to slam the weight though because I know you don't deserve to slam the weight. Well, I don't deserve to slam the weight yet. Yet. Maybe at 225 I will, but... That's going to be a ways out. I mean, we're only doing 165 right now. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm readjusting at every pull, trying to make sure that I get that right. And, um, and yeah, so I hammered it out. It was a very grueling, tiring day. So that's it for day 23. Thanks for watching, and uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment up your feedback. Send me some plur vibes if you're down and you feel that. And I'll see you in the next episode when I get back into rep mode. Thank you.